Hi, in this quick video I want to show you how you can add more details to your leaves by using custom meshes. In this example I'm going to add more details to these colocasia leaves just like you see here. So, let's start. First I looked at the references. Here you can see that the leaves usually have a wavy pattern on the sides which is hard to achieve inside speed tree. So, that's why I'm going to use a custom mesh. Now, here I have the model already made. I'll leave the speed tree file on my Gumroad in case you want to take a look at the model's parameters. To start, I made the leaf meshes inside speed tree using the cutout tool. I'm going to use this cutout mesh as a reference to model the custom mesh, so I'm going to export it. Right now, the mesh is triangulated, so if you want to change it to quads, go to global properties and here change the leaves meshes geometry from triangles to quads. Quads are easier to edit than triangles. Then go to the Meshes tab and click on the Export button. Now I'm going to jump into Blender. Here I have the OBJ already imported. Once you are here, you can modify its topology by moving or adding more vertices. Try to add just the necessary ones, so you don't go too high in poly count. In this case I tried to match the topology to the shape of the leaf, just like you see here. To add those wavy patterns on the sides of the leaves I pulled these vertices to the front. You can fold it, curl it, twist it if you want but make sure your pivot point is well placed otherwise it will appear like it's floating when you import it back into Speedtree. I prefer not to add those since you can still add fold, curl and twist inside Speedtree and take advantage of their variance parameters. For this it is important to have your topology as clean as possible and also try to keep this fold line. After you finish you can export your mesh. I exported it as an OBJ. Now back into Speedtree we can import our custom mesh. To do this, go to the Meshes tab and here press the plus button. Then select your custom mesh. To assign it to your leaf material go to the Cutout Meshes tab of your material and here replace the mesh by the custom one. As you can see, I can still add folds, curls and twists, and the wind also works correctly. To increase the intensity of the details of the custom mesh, you can increase the Z parameter and you can even add variants to it so all the leaves don't look the same. In the end, I made three different custom meshes so it's not just one type of leaf repeating all over the plant. I added those additional meshes to the Cutout Meshes tab of the leaf material. One thing to keep in mind is that you can no longer edit these meshes inside the Cutout window. So, if you need a medium or low resolution version, you must do it on your 3D software and then import it into the med and low boxes. And that's how you can add custom meshes and try to take advantage of the procedural modeling of Speedtree. And that's all for now, thanks for watching.